All right, folks, this week we are way down on the Texas-Mexico border hunting hogs and javelina. I'm meeting up with my good friends Damon Bungard, Mike, and Brian Cook. This is going to be a good one, so stick around. I've never been to Mexico, so is this going to count? You, you strip down your underwear and wade across. <laughs> So we're easing down this road and we just saw our first hog down here. And uh, Damon's up. The wind is not great. It's kind of going that way. But it's it's kind of going off the side of the road. So we're gonna see if we can get close enough to this pig, get a shot. It looks like a pretty good sized hog. screwed that up we, we were <clears throat> letting Damon make a stalk but we were sitting right here on the road and the pig decided to just run right up the road to us saw us and and took off so well I went from a Mexican standoff to a Mexican skedaddle yeah he uh he started trotting right to us and saw me when I tried to get up in the woods. Oh, okay. I, 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 I heard him chewing, and I saw him come out a little, a little bath, and he was maybe like five yards before that bath when he split. Damn it. But the river's right here if you want to see it, it's beautiful. So we're down here in South Texas. We're looking at the Rio Grande and Mexico right there. Before I leave here, I'm gonna shoot an arrow into Mexico. <laughs> right, because later an act of war. Yeah, they'll look back at the history books and what well, started the Mexican American, the second Mexican American War. <clears throat> We're gonna cut this little corner off. The wind's been kind of bogus, so I'm gonna kind of cut it. Let my wind flood through it. Lock lays on the far side, see if anything kind of slowly drifts that way. Meet up at the gate. 
to you. So we're going to take a quick break from hunting to learn about something that's pretty special that Brian's got going on. Yeah, so oh, about two years back I started Relentless Outdoors Foundation. Uh, essentially what we do is provide hunts, hunting trips and fishing trips for kids across the state of Texas that have been affected by childhood cancer. So whether they're in remission or they're still going through it, if it's terminal, uh, we get them out there, we figure out what they want to do, whether it's exotics whitetail, hogs, anything, you know, and, and we just make it happen and, and put together a hunting trip for them and their families. So if somebody wants to learn about this, uh, maybe they know somebody that would be a good candidate for that, what do they need to do? Yeah, so just, uh, we've got a website, Relentless Outdoors Foundation. You can just hop on the website. There's a, a place to contact us. My information's on there. You can reach out directly to me, uh, text me, call me, anything like that, and we'll set up a meeting and, and get together and talk a little bit about what they're wanting to do and start putting together a hunt. That sounds pretty doggone amazing. I've been running around this place for the last couple of days and it's, there's tons and tons of game. And I will link to that. I'll put that link in the video description down there so you can just scroll down, click on that, take you to his website and get everything you need. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, it means a lot. Let's go shoot an arrow. Morning number two, Damon is, uh, gonna brush in a blind I think back over this way and then I'm just gonna kind of sneak through this stuff and see what we can see this morning it's a beautiful morning look like we got a little bit of cloud cover moving in um, good day to be out there's a deer right there
so that that javelina was only i mean he was probably eight yards from me but they're so jumpy uh i just couldn't get drawn on him uh, i tried to draw several times and every time i just move anything they're just like they're on to you instantly but we'll stay with it uh we're getting into them and it's just what it takes is getting into them constantly and every time you get into them like that there's another chance and your odds go up so these big prickly pear flats is where we're focusing on these javelina because their prickly pear makes up something like 80 percent of their diet so during the dry months um, water super limited down here and these javelina can get all their uh, all the moisture that they need just from eating this uh, these prickly pears but it's it's impressive because these things if you just brush against them there's little spines that are like hairs that'll go through your pants and you'll just have this cluster of tiny little spines stuck in your leg and so to think about these animals out here eating this stuff it's, it's pretty amazing so this is not real fresh this is all scarred over um, but this is the kind of stuff you're looking for you're just looking for freshly cut edges where they'll come and take a bite sometimes they'll pull these whole pads off I, and they're I think they're using their bottom teeth to skin that to get these quills off and then eating them. South Texas. So that's that's pretty fresh. That was probably from this morning, maybe last night or yesterday afternoon. But I think what they're doing, they've got bottom teeth that kind of stick out. I think they're just popping those quills off there and then just kind of using that bottom teeth to almost shovel it out of there.
back in the shoulder. So I, I'm pretty confident that pig's dead just right up here. I'm just gonna ease up here, see if I can find blood and uh, see what that looks like. But I, I think the pig's laying right up here. All right, we got our port cams on the smoker. We're just gonna try to hold it around 250 or so for six, seven hours and uh, get a nice smoke rind on there and then we'll take it in, fish off in the house and do some pulled pork and then Liz is gonna can some. Gotta get it a little in the beard to make it worthwhile. Oh, man. Texas hog passes. Well, it is hard to beat smoked wild pork, but hobbling is what we're really after. So be sure to tune in next week to see how the rest of this hunt plays out. We'll see you on the next one.